Hi, this is Pete, welcome to my channel, and this is Ira, a unique controller from a little French company. It comes with a configurable touch-sensitive surface that opens up a universe of possibilities. It can be a MIDI keyboard or a drum pad, a fader box or a weird combination of different elements tailored to your individual performance workflow. The basic idea of an ultra-flexible touch-based controller was already realized in the first version of ERA. However, ERA version 2 now provides the most comprehensive upgrade I have ever seen in a hardware device. First of all, the surface is much more sensible on ERA 2 so that the interaction with the controller is more reliable and reproducible. By default it comes with some kind of fabric material which feels very well. In comparison to ERA 1 it is really a quantum leap in terms of playability. It cannot reach the pressure sensitivity of the Osmos keyboard but from all keys and pads that I had under my hands so far ERA 2 simply provides the most convincing pressure control. With the new display and buttons and the big endless wheel, it is now possible to comfortably add many parameters right on the device. For example, you can easily change the MIDI channels or CC numbers of control elements. If you want to create a new layout, you still need the Era Lab software editor, which is not a significant restriction in my opinion. Besides the usual USB device port for connection to the computer, there are two MIDI outputs and one input for direct connection to other MIDI devices. A really striking feature is the new USB host port that provides a direct high-speed connection to MIDI devices with a USB port. This is absolutely great because it does not make sense to transmit dense control change or pressure data streams over a classical MIDI connection. So you can now perform complex control tasks directly without requiring a computer as an intermediate hub. ERA 2 now also becomes a modular controller. I am not a modulist, so for me this is only a minor feature. But I guess that for many musicians the 24 CV outputs will be an important argument to become interested in ERA 2. To use all outputs you need these kind of split cables, which actually obtain two CV outputs from one TRS socket. It is also possible to configure the last two CV ports as inputs. In that way you can also connect a foot switch or expression pedal to the device. Another great performance feature is the integrated looper. With this tool you can record and loop all control actions on the device. It works with 8 tracks where each panel is recorded on a separate independent track. The loop length is limited to a maximum number of 64 steps which corresponds to 4 bars with a 16th note resolution. In my opinion this is sufficient to develop ideas and quickly try out hardware control settings outside the door. For doorless sessions it is also great to have an arpeggiator included which also supports the quick and easy development of sequencing ideas. Of course ERA 2 can be used as an MPE controller and in fact I think it actually provides the most consequent MPE realization you can find at the moment. 
but this topic is too big to squeeze it into this first review. Therefore, I would like to provide a special in an upcoming video that is entirely focused on MPE. But in my opinion, even without MPE, ERA 2 already is the most flexible and powerful MIDI performance controller you can get at the market. In this context, I would like to note that one possible shortcoming of ERA 2 is that it cannot send polyphonic aftertouch. There are several non-MPE synths, for example the Prophet 5 or Pro 800, which do not understand MPE but work well with key pressure. I guess this missing feature is known by Embodme and they should really implement polyphonic aftertouch as soon as possible to close this obvious gap. That's all I want to say and I hope that you will enjoy the following Dreamo tracks. So don't forget to subscribe, stay healthy and stay tuned.
Thank you.